Hello and welcome to another game of Twilight Struggle with yours truly, Francy Pants. I feel like my microphone, I should have tested it out a little bit before starting here, but I feel like it's been pretty loud lately. So I'll try to talk softer for the time being since uh, the, the match is starting now. So I've been quiet for a couple weeks and when it comes to league matches and streaming, but um, we have today's RTSL match against Hitchum. Thursday, we're playing Andrea Mancuso in the OTSL, and if there's time in the RTSL also, because we are in both, we are in a division in both leagues together, and then Sunday, the same thing with Brad McCoy, to play OTSL, and then possibly our RTSL match afterwards, so... Man, you might be seeing a lot or hearing a lot of me as you watch my Twilight Struggle games. So, no four ops, so that's kind of disappointing. All right, let's uh, keep track of cards here. It is 60 minutes, so I don't know if I'll have enough time to be thorough here, but we'll do what we can. Special, Sakovs and De Gaulle are both really good to have. Vietnam and Asia, also fantastic. I might just go for that, honestly. Duck and cover, a good card to coup with. From the beginning, Truman and Formosan. Okay, that's it. So let's uh, hope we don't get defectored, but if we do, we do. Oh, wow, okay, so Vietnam Revolts is out, and so is Blockade with Destall. Well, we might see it in the redraw then. I think I'm just going to do this right away. Get those points. Let him coup Vietnam if he wants, but uh, I will just coup Iran, I think. So yeah, today's match, at least one on Thursday, and then at least one on Sunday. Both Andrea and Brad are in the OTSL and the RTSL with me. Same division in both, so. I'm doing much better in the OTSL, so it's kind of where my hopes and dreams are right now. Do we want to mess around in France? Maybe? We have Truman, so... Independent Reds. We could uh, cause some problems if we really wanted to. Maybe. I also would like to coup. I think cooing is probably going to take priority here. Questions with which card. Okay, if we use special and he puts one into France, it kind of at least makes more... Gets more value from De Gaulle. Yeah, I'm still thinking about eventing both Socialist and De Gaulle. It's not going to be good odds, but you know, at least in this case. Okay. Not fantastic. But we might be able to get Iran by cooing and duck with duck and cover, making it so that he can't coo back, so. Pros and cons, pros and cons. Yeah, I was thinking about my mic right before I started, so I couldn't tamper with it. So sorry if I'm loud, but I'm trying not to be. <laughs> I'll temper my enthusiasm or my anger. My anger when I blow this duck and cover coup. Because I don't think he's going to... 
Or I just take Tylen with Tuck and Cover. That's also that's probably better. Although we'll see what he does here. Influence. All right, fair enough. Yeah, we'll probably have to take Duck and Cover. Uh, use Duck and Cover to take Thailand. Question is, what do we want to do with the other op? I think he headlined blockade, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't have Middle East. I hope we get a coup, a crack at a coup there. Um, could really, really easily pop Thailand, but I think I'll concern myself with that a little bit later. Or do I just? No, this is better. I think. I think this is better. Oh, I forgot about. Hold on, hold on. I have Vietnam revolts, so why don't? Yeah, that's that's much better. I almost forgot about that. Okay. All right. He's gonna have to coup pretty soon, or uh, he won't get any mill ops unless he also has Indo-Pakistani war. I think he might have Europe scoring though. I would say good fuel for D stall, but we'll have to get lucky on the redraw for that to work out for us. But I guess he doesn't have Europe, though. He probably would have dropped it there if he had, unless he just wants to get out of uh, Iran before that final coup. But he also could have cooed right here. Maybe he will coup. Maybe he will go for uh, Iraq. I don't regret my decision about not putting something in uh, Saudi, but uh, okay, there we go. So now we are going to coup. I think we'll do Sakos. A little late for the to make good use of that. Oh, nice coup, nice coup. Okay, so Comic Con and Sakos. So if he. Uh, decides to coup with, or not coup, but uh, event into Pakistani war, at least it won't re remove any of my ops currently. Truman is really harmless right here, so maybe put one into Lebanon if he doesn't do that on his next move. Oh, there is Europe scoring. Okay, I've begun to think he didn't have it, but obviously getting some influence away from Iran was crucial, so. However, I think it was a mistake not to go to Lebanon <clears throat> for him. And nothing too bad to do with Truman. I'm less compelled to event De, uh, De Gaulle now. Though I actually, you know, I might, depending on what he does here, I might just space foremost and see if I can get those two points first. Because if I put two into Iraq, he'll just put two into Libya, leaving us nowhere. No progress. Okay, Cambridge 5. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and uh, space for Mosin. 
hope to get lucky. We didn't get lucky. But at the very least, if we draw a four op and defectors, well, I guess four op and defectors and he doesn't event. Um, Red Scare Purge. Uh, okay. What am I saying? Yes, then we could take France, possibly. I've mentioned in previous videos how I lose track of things when I'm trying to think of what I was trying to say and then process information that is coming in. It's a little bit tricky, but uh, doing what I can. But yeah, if I event to Gaul and he doesn't defector it and doesn't play uh, Red Scare Purge in the headline, and we get a four op, so let's just say we get Red Scare Purge. Um, how about Red Scare Purge and defectors? We get both of them. That would be ideal. Allow us to take France. And with such influence spread out, we would have a shot at uh, a future Europe domination. Okay. Back to even after round one. A lot of red cards went out, which makes me not so happy, but there's also still decal, which I'd love to get, of course. Okay, well, we got. We didn't get Defectors, and he headlined really quickly, so I'm kind of tempted. Eh, we could just do Indo Pakistani, I guess. Because I don't expect to win that, but. Alright, but let's first decide what's in our hand here. Marshall, Red Scare Purge. Containment, Indo Pakistani War. Fidel and Suez. Well, we got all the Europe attacking cards, so that's something, I guess. Uh, I think we're just going to do Indo-Pakistani. Yes, I'm too afraid. Well, I mean, he could he could just be headlining uh, Middle East here, so maybe fear is not the answer. Maybe we should do. Half of my... Or, yeah, I got the 4-op that I wanted, and I'm not getting purged, so let's not live in fear. I have an extra card here, though. What's the extra card? On my, uh, oh, Formosan. Did I? I got rid of that. Okay, yeah, let's do it. All right, kind of figured that might happen, but it was worth worth a shot. All right, so we get a coup here. I think we're going to go for Libya. And I think we're going to use Suez, so both... Uh, Ah, that's terrible. Terrible roll with Suez. Just ugly, man. Ugly. At least you won't get any mill ops because we have Indo Pakistani war. Which we should also event. If we get that, Asia will be more or less locked up for us. You wouldn't have any access to India. Or Burma. Could also just take uh, South Korea here. It's likely that he's going to play that card soon if he has it. That probably takes precedence over Indo Pakistani, honestly, just because Indo Pakistani is a 1 in 3. Yeah, well, that was smart. It's a good time to do that. That failed coup. I honestly. I should have used a 4-op, and I should have gone for Egypt, and I know I still would have failed, but it would have uh, almost definitely ensured that I got my domination. 1 and 6 that I didn't, but I rolled a 1, so, right, I think I rolled a 1. So I guess uh, I made the wrong decision, but it worked out better for me, so there you go. All right, uh, let's do East European Unrest. Yeah, we might space Marshall plan, but I think I need to get into Korea and Burma. Maybe two to Korea, one to Burma. Middle East, East European. 
Well, it's even score right now. Would have liked the scoreboard looking a little different. A little bit more red. He also probably got decal. And you an intervention. I mean, maybe he didn't. There's still a... Okay. Let's place one here and then one, two there. <clears throat> Could just use a China card to take both of them. And if I take uh, India, if I'm able to take India, I might just hold. I will probably hold Indo-Pakistani. Okay, Olympic Games. Did he do what I thought he might do? Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Let's do one, two... <clears throat> um, three, four. My normal OTSL matches are 90 minutes. These are 60, so I feel compelled to play a little faster if I'm also doing, since I'm also doing card counting. If they're 45 minutes, I just usually do the first, uh, the early war for card counting, and then I stop just because I don't have time. Just nice to see what's in my opponent's hand on turn three. But with 60 minutes, I might be able to do it the whole time. <clears throat> Romanian, okay. India? Yeah, well, now we're definitely going to use Indo-Pakistani. Hope to get lucky here. Oh, man, so close, but not quite. At least we'll get a second, well, <laughs> we might get a second shot at some point. Okay, well, priorities. Arab-Israeli war. Yeah. Oh man, once again, one pip away. Not quite. Okay, well, we want to do one to Burma and one to uh, Saudi Arabia. And then I think we will. Uh, yeah, that looks right. We will event, uh, well, play containment. At least two in Saudi, unless he decides to get bold. Oh, he got CIA, that's great for us. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's do one, two. I think we'll go down there, threaten Indonesia also. Now, I'm guessing he's going to space Nasser right now, but I think it's still the best best case scenario for us, best situation for containment. Just one, one card. Could also break something, because I do have two dominations here, so maybe he won't. Maybe he doesn't have Nasser. Cards left. Seven. Okay, so we're... Our count is correct. And currently there are three unknown blue, three unknown red, and three unknown in the middle. <laughs> three unknown neutral cards. That's the word I was looking for. If he has a three op, which would now be a four op, he could break something in, he could break one of the Koreas and break Saudi or Iraq. But I don't know that he would do that. Maybe. The U.S. is supposed to cause problems in their final AR.
three four ops left too, right? That's not even including Marshall Plan. Yeah, I've had two so far. All right, I've played one and I have one, and neither of us played one last time. So there are three four ops, and there's one of them. So he doesn't get anything from uh, uh, containment. He did break me. He went. He <laughs> did more than break though. He <clears throat> went wild on North Korea. Okay, so what do we got, and what does he got? We got decal. We got <laughs> two four ops. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So NATO five year plan, and we got five year plan. So of the known cards, he didn't get any of the blue cards. Um, decal. A nuclear test ban. Okay, which means he got UN, captured Nazis, Nasser, and Korean. Ooh, he got a bunch of one-offs. That was definitely uh, in our favor. Okay, so we also get Olympic, Suez, and Defectors. That's good to have Defectors. As Olympic Defectors. Okay. All right, so we want a headline here. I think we want a headline. Decal, since he can't Defector us. I wish there's a way of lowering the DEF CON here so that I could get back to North Korea. But there is not. There's Asia scoring. Okay, well, you didn't. You didn't. Uh, reap any. You got one point. Okay, one point from it. Okay, Asia scoring is out, decal is out, and now we get our coup, and it's got to be in the Middle East, so we might get a domination there. I think we, <laughs> why not use a four up? Why not? Okay, there we go. Nuclear test ban, finally get a good roll. Okay. He might continue taking North Korea here. It'll be valuable later if he does, for sure. Wish I had De Gaulle. Or he hadn't taken me out of uh, Yugoslavia, because I'd like to prevent a domination in Europe. But I don't have access to Spain or Greece. Maybe I'll just break. Oh, no, that'd be too obvious if I broke Italy. I do have ops, though, and he doesn't, so. I should also space again. Probably space NATO and let him have... Oh, I hate to say that, though. Space NATO and let him have Europe. By playing Marshall Plan... I want to hold five-year plan, obviously. Now, I'll space defectors, right? <sighs> I better space before he events uh, captured Nazis, all I'm saying. So I should do it soon. I got Red Scare Purge taking North Korea. Yep. Okay, in that case, I will space. <sighs> space defectors. Dang it. Space rolls are not working out. really unfortunate. So now I might do what I said I probably wasn't going to do. 
because I know he doesn't have a lot of ops, so Formosan. Okay. Let's just see what he does here. Let's see what he does. Okay, South Korea failed. No oh, dang. And my mouse ran out of batteries. That's exciting. We'll get more batteries in here. Oh. What's he going to do with Korean War? but maybe I don't. Okay, what'd he do? Oh, he did go to Greece. Okay, just as I thought, kind of thought, but that's okay, because now we can uh, do that. Is that going to stop him from anything? He can get Canada pretty easily. Um... I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Give me just one second here. All right, so the battery just started working again, I guess. Something funky about this mouse. All right. You an intervention, Nasser? Yep. So he's captured Nazis, and now he knows he has time to play it, because I already tried to space. So disappointing. Okay. That makes some sense. Now, he has captured Nazis and one other card. Maybe. Maybe we do this and then pop a couple over there. Because we did defectors and we're playing NATO. Yeah, let's see what else he has. One mystery card and captured Nazis. He's going to play them both. If I uh, event Suez to break the UK, he might use Captured Nazi just to fix it. If he doesn't play it here, that is. But if he doesn't uh, fix Algeria, that's better. That's a better move. I do say so myself. Okay, is then it Captured Nazis? Okay. Understandable. And what else does he have? 
I think. I think we're going to be a little cagey. Not event Suez. You never know how uh, useful that could be. On turn uh, turn ten <laughs> or turn nine. Hey, there's Fidel. He's, he is space racing it. Okay. Well, we got a couple points, even though his uh, NASA is a bit. Doing a bit better than the Russian cosmonauts. Okay, what do we pick up? Not bad, not bad. Five-year plan, though, there's still nothing really to use it with. Okay, we had that. Sorry, we didn't actually pick it up. We already had that. Okay, how I learned, Panama Canal. Oh, we're going to add the... Whoops. How I learned... Panama Canal, Muslim Rev, hang on to that for a bit, Summit, okay, we got a couple one-ops in here too, Independent Reds, that's not what I wanted to see, Nixon, And Cuban Missile Crisis. All right, is that everything? All right, that's nine. Okay. All right, not much to event here. Not much good for us. I think Cuban allows us to take uh, Algeria right away, and it might prevent him from cooing with. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, with that card. Exactly. <clears throat> Cuban Missile Crisis. Evented. And he picked up Panama Canal Returned. <laughs> That's really unfortunate for us, actually. Green Sails. All right, mouse died again, but I think we replaced the battery, and I think it might be working now. Of all the cards you could have drawn, that was probably the right one. We're going to play the China card anyway, since uh, we have Nixon. Okay, there you go. Now, the question is, uh, now we got to take Algeria first, sadly. Sadly, takes priority. I think we're going to use U.S. Japan also, because we want to take Botswana also, set up a domination. If he doesn't move out of Venezuela here to Brazil, we will attempt to realign him because we also have a secondary target of South Africa right now. He might coup Botswana, but I, I think the right answer would still be to work on Venezuela first.
even with all my fiddling around with my mouse, talking and card counting, which I assume he's doing as well, I'm still ahead in time. Looks like a Europe to me. Okay, well, oh, is it worth spending four ops to do this? I think I want to take uh, south first. Um, yeah, because he, he moved out, so. Mm. Place influence, let's do this first. Oh man, oh, what if it, but what if, what if? Okay, let's see here. If I do a realignment over here, it's, he's a plus one. You know, let's, let's basically try to get something guaranteed first. Nah, I think the other's more important though. That's, dang. Okay, I probably talked myself into a bad, bad move, but so far, it doesn't matter where I try to realign. Okay, one more shot. Can we get it? Nope. <laughs> China card. Completely wasted. <clears throat> well, that just sucks. I bet he has Europe here, too, which is disappointing. Though we do have a good Middle East scoring Africa and Southeast Asia at some point. Right, he discarded Fidel too. I forgot to mention. I forgot to put that in my notes here. Duck and cover, sure. Take it back. Take it back. Right. Right. Well. I think we'll just do what we can. Give him points. Hold five year plan for South America. Unless, of course, he draws it. I had some idea what he had in his hand. I might even crank up how I learned all the way to the top and just gone nuts. Actually, to get into South America, that's not a bad idea. At least to four. Because he spent... Um, he used UN. So if he has... Uh, we will bury you, of course. He could coup with it and prevent me from cooing again. Uh, but that would give me three points. So, yeah, maybe I will crank it up to four and take a stab in uh, South America with the uh, Muslim Revolution. It's not the worst thing I've ever done. Not the worst idea I've ever had. Puppets. Okay. Uh -huh. That gives us even more reason to do it. With better target. Let's go to four. I'll let him take a country in Africa. Of course, if I coup with Muslim and get nowhere, then he has a free crack at, uh, at uh, Africa. Portuguese, okay. He's going to coup first. Oh, that's good. That's fine with me. If you have Brush War, I'm going to feel pretty sick about this, but uh, I think it's still worth a shot. There we go. Okay, so that was Muslim Revolution. Here's where you kick me in the teeth. All right. Um. <clears throat> If he doesn't coo me out right now, brush war, then I will, uh, oh, 
he's not. Good. Okay. In that case, I will place an influence here. Wish I could play two. Maybe I should play two, actually. No, nah, I'm just going to play one. So dot not evented. Yeah, I mean, game's not going great. It's not going horribly either. Failed space rolls have hurt. At least. Okay, that's good. It's five points. So we can get this to space. Nope. 0 for 3 or 0 for 4? Either way, not good. Not good. The upside of that is that we'll be able to space <laughs> uh, Colonial Rear Guards and Nuke Subs, Voice of America. Not if they all come at the same time, of course, but, uh, you know, we won't be beyond the, what is it, Man in Space? Let's see how Hitchum is. I haven't looked at his uh, stats here. Great player. I mean, he's over 1,700, which I did know, but uh, significantly more wins than losses. He's about even with uh, U.S. and U.S.S.R. About, we say like, uh, ratio of three to two, three out of five games he wins. Something like that. I don't think my math's exactly right, but pretty close. Sorry. Oh, that's sad. Okay. Just trying to tear things up in Asia. Asia's been scored, so <clears throat> I don't feel terrible about that. I mean, it's not, not, it's not ideal, <laughs> but uh, things could be worse. Okay, so oh, I hate having CIA though. That that is a pain. Brush war is really nice though. Brush war right back into Thailand. All right, so OPEC, which is four points, that's pretty good. Brush war, Allende, also good. Bear trap. CIA, one small step. He hasn't been spacing. He has been trying to space, so one small step is not. Uh, if we get a, a successful space off, then it could be useful, but uh, we know how hard that is. Southeast Asia scoring. <clears throat> Southeast Asia scoring. Where is that? Okay, there we go. And nuke subs. Did he play duck and cover before? I feel like he did. Yeah, he did, because that's still on here. All right, so in terms of ability to lower the DEF CON, it would be, we will bury you. Uh, Junta could do it too. I was thinking about just um, Eventing CIA. Ah, no, we could use nuke subs and use it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I think we're okay. Um, I think OPEC here. We can't, uh, line OPEC. Colonial rear guards. Okay. All right, well, he's going to cause more problems. We don't have a lot of ops to fix this <clears throat> in uh, Southeast Asia. But um, yeah, I don't like my 
my chances here. I got a coup. Zaire. Should I just use nuke subs to do it? Uh, maybe I use Allende to do it? That's not a really a guarantee, though. What does this look like? It looks like we got it. I think it's... Uh, I think we gotta do it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now he can take... I mean, actually, that's actually pretty good, because now he takes him... It's harder for him to get the other African countries, so... That's a... Uh, very unconventional and probably a wrong play, but I don't really... I want to make sure I got it, was the one thing. Now, he also wants to take uh, Thailand. If he doesn't take it, we will take it. If he does take it, and doesn't take Laos, Cambodia, or uh, Malaysia, we can always five-year plan Southeast Asia if it gets really bad, but it's really bad? I don't think it's going to get really bad. Although I don't know if anything's going to get really bad. He'll probably be uh, reluctant to go into Cuba. Okay, well there's the China card. Probably means that uh, Cultural Revolution is right behind it. Okay. Um, I think we take our Brush War Stab. That is a, that's a four-point swing if we get it, and it's 50-50. Right? Yeah, 50-50. I think we got to do it. Great, we got it. All right, so Brush War. Been played. China card, nuclear subs. Okay. All right, so that's going to get us four more points. We do have to make sure to play CIA. Uh, that will probably be close to last. Space Bear Trap. Yeah, it's a good time to get rid of CIA. This is worth what I say, five for us, four for us, unless he takes uh, Philippines. and It's plus for us, regardless. Now, Asia on the whole is looking pretty terrible, though it has been scored. Okay, we knew that was coming. Or assumed, I should say, that was coming. Okay, let's get our points. Scoreboard is looking decent, but we still have Europe. Central and South America. <clears throat> Have to play Allende and set up a realignment from Peru. A lot of things to do here, and we won't be able to do all of them, of course. Okay, he's not eventing our man. Okay, well, he knew what we were thinking, and or uh, he has South American scoring, which is probably more likely. Let's space race bear trap. Still, for every time. I mean, of all the roles to be bad at, I'm, I'd rather it be Bear Trap than uh, Cooing. But still, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, okay. Um, well, in that case, we're going to get our Dom here and not take any extra points. Yeah, I knew that was coming. All right, this is six, so... I think if we event Allende... Or do we want to keep Allende in the deck so he has to event it? I think... Hmm. We could put it here and play five-year plan with CIA to retake uh, South Korea. 
keep Ayanda in the deck, because it's not doing a whole lot at this point. He has not used nuclear subs ability once. And it's not like he couldn't have. I mean, he just didn't have any great targets, I guess. D stall. Okay, well. Uh, D stall. At least he failed. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, but he has nuke subs. Does not lower DEFCON. And watch him like remember right now that he has nuke subs. <laughs> That's the funny part. I have nothing in my hand. So there you go. CIA is gone. Five-year plan is gone. Yeah, if he does break Africa here with one or two coups. It'll be sad. Hopefully we'd we'll be able to get it back in the next uh, go round though. Norad, he played Norad. Okay. Special wasn't played yet. Nope. Oh, there's still a lot of bad cards out there for me. I guess there's some bad ones for him too, so. He did forget the subs. Mwah. But unfortunately, I had to remind him <laughs> with CIA. It was worth it. So with South America out, could have gotten rid of Europe scoring if I drew it and kept a five-year plan, but there's still ways to get a draw there. So what else do you have? Got a lot of cards left over there. Brezhnev. Okay, now he's going to get... Oh, it's a tie. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Unfortunately, D call is out. Lone gunman, though. Ooh, if I pick lone gunman. <clears throat> I could still get the Dom. Oh, we did. We did. We got actually some decent cards this time. All right, lads. Central American scoring. Should be nice if we get uh, liberation theology to go well. Um, Camp David. He probably is going to have a voice though. So we didn't get it. De Gaulle, De Gaulle, De Gaulle, De Gaulle. Salt negotiations. Lone gunman, Cambridge five. Okay, yeah, so we need to um, and what else am I missing? Oh, Quagmire. Too <laughs> can't miss Quagmire. Alright, we yeah, this is a pretty good hand. Uh, I think we're gonna lone gunman here, see what he has, and take Africa scoring in case he tries to dump it right off the bat. Um, that's fun. Is there anything that, yeah, we don't want him to do salt. I think, I think we'll give him De Gaulle. Let him coo with it or something. <clears throat> Sadly, De Gaulle might be enough to get Angola. Oh, just barely, but he did. All right, what do you got? 
Voice of America, ask not. Uh, low ops, but there's a lot of points in there. A lot of possibilities in there. That's that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Okay, let's. Uh, I think we have to go for the realignment attempt here, maybe. Good. And then place influence. One there. I think one there. Yeah, okay. All right. So he took de Gaulle. Missile Envy was played. Ooh, this is a good time to use Quagmire, actually. If he has a bunch of, like, amazing cards over there. Let's check again. Okay. Willy Brandt. Indo-Pakistani. Socialist governments. Okay, so not all great. Kitchen debates. We'll decide later in the turn if we want to play Quagmire. Or maybe when to play Quagmire is the better uh, qualifier. I think he's using voice right now, though. <laughs> it's taking so long. Libya, probably. Mm, need to put one more in Libya if he doesn't. Let him use voice before I use liberation theology, too. Okay, so no, Indo-Pakistani war. What else did he have? Okay, so he had Voice of America, OAS founded. Be easy just to put it up there, right? Sockgovs, Willie Brandt. Ask not. Uh, kitchen debates. I think he had did show diplomacy. Voice of America. Special relationship. Ooh. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he has seven cards. I think that's all of them. Boys suck. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna do the, the maybe not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One there. Hold on. Hold the phone. Okay, we're definitely doing that first. Yeah, Africa scoring will come out next time, and that's that in Europe. Okay, so they will both only get scored once. I guess it's an even trade-ish. If he keeps OAS and Kitchen towards the end, and I can quagmire him, that would be sick. Oh, he played Brezhnev also, I didn't mention that. Okay, there's one card that we have not found. Ah, Central, uh, South American scoring. That's what it was. All right, now we're good. So, ABM and Junta, Arms Race, Alliance for Progress, John Paul, Shuttle Diplomacy, We Will Bury You, South African Unrest, Che, Flower Power, Arab Israeli, and U2 Incident, all to come out in the next go round. All right, here's where he's going to use a <clears throat> voice, which means we will coup in Cameroon. Mm-hmm. Two, three, yep, yeah, and four, Libya. All right, good. Well, uh -huh. let's go ahead, take our shot. Nice. Cambridge Five, Voice of America. I think we're well. We will safely get both of those back. Probably going to use Cambridge or Camp David to do it. Sad. Uh, okay, there's kitchen debates. All right. Probably the best thing to do here. This and this. Sadly, but we are still ahead. So. 
<clears throat> Although we also need to do Libya and we need to get liberation theology. Uh, actually, no, we got to drop Central American first because uh, liberation theology won't even take any, any uh, battlegrounds. That's two points for him, so. Willie Brandt sock goes. He needs to play one of them or both of them so we can quagmire him. Otherwise, it'll have to happen in the headline. There's Willie. Gives us another point. Okay. Dang it. Okay, well, that was too little too late on that one. I mean... Ask, uh, what's he going to play, though? That's the real question. Okay, so let's do one, two, three. Right? I think that's worth it. He could use sock govs to repair. <laughs> Ask not. Special. <laughs> uh, I guess he could use OAS, but that would only repair one of them. <clears throat> Either way, um... Either gives us a card we want, or he doesn't repair everything, in which case we still get Central America off for uh, a little bit cheaper. OAS, of course. Sure, let's just get this out of the way for two points. And then, I hope he sp <laughs> spaces sock ups here, and then you have to give up Ask Not or Special Relationship. Don't think he's going to do that, though. I think that would be pretty unlikely. We, though, with sock ups, will probably coup Peru. I think that would be our best. Oh, though we want to take Libya also. Herga Burga. He's not going to play Astronaut. He'll probably play Special and pop two into... Okay, fine. Two points. Oh, he did. He did Space Sock Govs. Perfect. Good. Okay, in that case... In that case, we will definitely quag you right now. Because I know you have cards that are good for you. And he missed. Oh, 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 we have a chance here. Especially do some damage. All right. Special relationship out. Rhea, discard. Or what? Come on. No, that's not what we wanted. What did he have? No, come on, it's not what he had. That's so disappointing. All right, so I totally screwed this up, but gave him all of the cards left, but we can fix this. All right. Okay, he got ABM, but we got Che. We got Arab Israeli War, which is worthless. I mean, it's not worthless, but it's. Uh, South Africa unrest. Can't event it. That's what I was trying to say. Junta. Flower power. Arms race. And John Paul. And one thing from the discard, which is NORAD. Fancy. All right. <clears throat> well, he has Africa scoring, and he has Europe scoring. What can we do here? What's he probably going to event? I'm guessing ABM Treaty. 
That seems like a wise decision. Oh, man, I wish there's something we could do about this. I would love to event Che here, but it's a big but. I mean, we'll get a coup anyways, right? If he does ABM treaty. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, duck and cover. Fancy. So now, that's interesting because I was thinking about eventing Salt to get ABM back, but it would not have worked out. Okay, okay, we'll have to give him some extra options here. How about coup in Peru? Okay, that failed, sadly. Um, all right. One, two, three, four. All right, so we got rid of Junta. He played Duck and Cover, which was the only card we didn't know. Um, oh, you know what? You know what? Oh, man. I think... Which is better in this spot. Didn't even think about this before. I think jamming West Germany is better. I think it's better. I really do. Africa won't give him domination either. We will bury you. Okay. Safe. Um, he's got a couple four ops. I mean, he's got a lot of ops here, so we need to get out to a good. Uh, I hope he, I mean, if he uses, uh, he has two scoring cards too. If he uses ABM in Europe, that's uh, better for us. I like that quite a bit. Does he have Kennedy? He does have Kennedy, so he can get rid of uh, one or both of them. Although he doesn't have a lot of other cards to get rid of, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see what he does here. going yeah okay that makes some sense okay we get a point for that that's nice that's nice uh, okay I think we're gonna keep working at this okay so he played you too get ready we will bury you I played Arab Israeli Salt, and I should have five cards, and the China card, yeah. Okay. Shuttle Diplomacy. Yeah, you think you can get it, but you can't, yet. Uh, arms race it is. He knows what I have, too, and he knows I have the ops. John Paul could even go up there, because <clears throat> uh, Poland is so overprotected. We need to put one in Libya, though. And two in Brazil. At some point, he's going to have to play his cards. <laughs> the Captain Obvious statement of the century. He'll probably have to drop... Um, you're up first. Alliance for Progress would get him three points right now, but because he, he also wants to take Brazil and uh, Mexico's easier, but I don't have presence in Central America, so. Choices, choices.
Hope you're enjoying this game. It's been a bit stressful, but fun all the same. I think we are losing right now with Asia. He's got like seven for that, eight, eight points, because he has North Korea and Afghanistan. <clears throat> Central, everything else. Uh, and if you, I need to take South back, but even so, I think. How things are looking right now. Oh, he'll hopefully give us Africa. I don't think he will. You know, he's probably just going to drop Europe right now. No, he's using ABM for influence, which is <clears throat> what we wanted, which means he'll probably... He can use Kennedy to get rid of both scorings. Um... Okay, so let's put that there, this here, in case Brush War also comes back, because he, no, I mean, he's going to get rid of, uh, okay. We'll put one there and one there. That's what we're going to do, John Paul. He's going to get rid of both scorings, probably, because he, you know, really tricky to take. Uh... <clears throat> I should have taken Brazil sooner, but I, I mean, I think, actually, I think Europe's probably better, so he doesn't, he doesn't get any net points this turn from scoring cards. Okay, well, I guess that was a successful endeavor. All right, now if we want to use Che, now nah, we don't use Che yet. Let's uh, space NORAD and use Che last. Hey, we got a successful space. Can you believe it? All right, Ask Not is out. Africa and Europe are out. So he has Alliance and two other cards. And Alliance is going to get him five points, so... All right, as so we knew that was going to happen. Um, okay, so let's do Che for event. First in Peru. That's pretty nice. And then, I guess, Ivory Coast. Uh, no, let's do Colombia. Or, yeah, not Colombia, whatever, Costa Rica. Okay. Well, we got our mill ops. Now he can get his if he wants. Okay. Two minutes, I have more time than he does, so I can do this again. Lads, one small step. Rush War, Olympic Games, Central America. Why do I keep getting Central America? Muslim Rev, East European, and De Gaulle. Did I get no? I got no late war cards. <laughs> That's weird. Muslim Rev, De Gaulle, East European Unrest, which is definitely going to space. And what do I, why do I have an extra card here? What did I forget to do last time? NORAD. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Maybe if we brush more. I think we're going to brush more. Hopefully it doesn't missile envy us again. <laughs> That'd be so gross and annoying and gross. Panama's the target here. Are you kidding me? Okay, Panama. Dang it! <sighs> Grain sales. Yeah, we're we're definitely slotted to lose with Africa out. Um, although he could uh <sighs> final scoring is gonna be rough. Gonna be rough. I guess, though, taking North Korea would not be that hard. That's a big choice for you, though, buddy. <laughs> That's funny. Funny, funny, funny. Well, then. That was a nice coup. That was a really nice coup, sadly. How about we put one in here? And one up there. Ah, so unfortunate. I got a six. I even overprotected Libya. What the crap? Now watch him play AWACS. <laughs> it's like, <coughs> what can I do sometimes? Or, Sadat. No, but I mean, come on, I don't, don't even have Middle East right now, so. Really, I should just, I could just put them all into Israel. <sighs> so annoying. Hey, look at that, Red Scare Purge. At least I didn't get purged. <coughs> That's what I was going to do. Let's drop that. Can't really fight <clears throat> for Europe right now. We should get ready for a Chile realign, though. <sighs> yeah, entering Egypt right now just isn't a good idea. Oh, although I could go to Tunisia. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I should put my Latin... Latin... Oh, jeez. Latin American death squads there. Okay, now you're going to realign. What are you going to do? Okay. 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 All right. Um, cool. So what if we do that and that, and then we do Muslim revolution? <clears throat> I mean, he knows it's coming, right? He knows it's coming. Hey, he got a late work card. I didn't even add them to the sheet because I didn't get any. Tear down this wall. Okay, Central American scoring. Defectors for influence. Latin American death squads. Olympic Games, I played that. I should have five cards left. Okay. 
Yeah, not looking good. Not looking good. Not looking good. Okay, uh, let's space that. Come on! Why can I not space? Oh, I took one out of my hand that didn't actually play. Olympic Games got played. That's out. And what else? To go to South Africa. American Death Squads. Okay, what did you just do? Two in Peru. Okay. With Missile Envy. Yeah. All right. No idea what you have. Uh... See what happens if I coup here. Nothing good. Oh my gosh, these rolls are sucking. So bad. Oh, so gross. So annoying and gross and bad and terrible. Yeah, okay. No, I'm not going to let you space again, though. Okay, Latin American Debt Crisis. One small step. <sighs> I think I think I got to use Muslim Rev here. I really think I do. Headline to Gaul, maybe. Okay. Just a UN intervention, just a realignment. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still going to play it. Still going to play it. Because it's going to take ops to repair, I think. So, I mean, at the worst, it's an empty action round. Okay. What if we get Che here? That'd be great. Okay, so that was um, Yuri and Samantha. Maybe. Maybe I'll actually pick up some uh, light war cards this time. Okay. Okay. He played Defectors, so... Ooh, and we got a five-year plan with Asia. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So, De Gaulle. Where's De Gaulle? Why can't I find De Gaulle? Oh, it's still in my hand, that's why. North Sea Oil. Ortega. Asia. With five-year plan. Aldrich, Iran Contra Scoundrel, Scandrel, Scoundrel. Aldrich Ames. Iranian Hostage Crisis, Chernobyl, and that's it. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to headline Alder James. Let me just make sure here that... Uh, yeah, I can't get defectored. All right, here we go. He has Star Wars in there. Oh, 
I'm just afraid of everything right now. There's nothing that's really good for me here. Though he cannot get rid of any cards. Any two or ones. Okay, there's Star Wars. That'll go first. So, he, so whatever I discard, he can play automatically, is I guess the idea. Nasser's going to get played no matter what, which is cool. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I'd, re I'd rather him not save voice. So if he wants to play it now, he can play it now. That's fine. That's okay. He didn't have Sadat, right? Oh, I should, uh, yeah, once again, should add his cards to the list. He played, he vented Star Wars. So that's gone. I'm guessing. Okay. Evil Empire Nasser Pershing through two. Nasser Pershing two. Iron Lady. Oh, he took grain sales back. And Bear Trap, Reformer, Our Man, and, and Voice, which is Voice is out. Okay. So Bear Trap, Reformer, Our Man. Seven. Okay, and see what he does with, uh, with these cards. <clears throat> Cooing with North Sea Oil. Kind of glad that uh, he did that. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so what are the priorities here? What are the priorities here? Mm, I know he has Nasser, okay? So he'll have to play Nasser, so I'm not going to worry about the Middle East just yet. Okay. Let's try to coup Peru. Okay. Ooh, he could possibly run out of time. Possibly Evil Empire. All right, just put it back. Okay, we want to coup again? I think we might. Do we want to coup again? I think we do. I think we want to coup again. <clears throat> nice. All right. Iron Lady Coup. Also successful. <laughs> Here we go. Back and forth. Back and forth. All right. So what does he have? He has some cards. Um, he has some cards. He has some cards. Ah, uh, geez. Okay. All right. All right. So a couple things I think I need to do. I need to do this in case he gets, like, Brush War or something. And I need to do that presence in Central America. So Ortega is out. Um, I'm going to have to play China card this time. Uh, I mean, I'm prob I was probably going to anyways. Let's see what he plays here. Yeah, I think I, I think I was going to anyways. 
can't realign Zaire now. Hopefully I get a good coup there next turn. But, uh, oh, Space Racing Reformer. Successfully. Well, he doesn't have war games yet. So, what can we do here to make problems for him? Um, let's do that. Okay. And then we have... We're going to surge into North Korea. That's what we're going to do. Still lose out there. Okay, our man is out. Oh. Freaking forgot about... Dang it. Dang it. Okay, um, so Chernobyl. I have to play Chernobyl first, I guess. <sighs> Alright, no more peeking. Alright, so now... I mean, if he, if he bear traps us on our last turn, that's fine. At least I get rid of Asia. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to get rid of Asia then. All right, so we got one here, one here, and I guess one there. <clears throat> yeah, oh my gosh, that's so, so clutch that we're getting rid of Asia. <clears throat> Not going to save us in this game by any means, but... What does he have left, anyways? He has Bear Trap and Nasser. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Now, does he want to fix that? If he fixes it, he... If he bear traps me, he gets one turn with Nasser, so... Eventing bear trap, okay, fine by me. Skip. I mean, not really fine by me, because now I have to waste my action around next time dealing with it. But there you have it. Ugh, gross. Gross end to a gross game, and he is not going to time out with almost eight minutes left. Influence one in North Korea? Sure, sure. Nasser's gone. Hope we don't get Sadat back, but maybe. Okay, oh my gosh. These cards are awful. Awful. We did get Sadat, at least. We did get Sadat, and we got Middle East scoring, so... <sighs> okay, well... Let's headline that, then. I think that's worth it. Mm! Oh, we still scored it, though. Oh, man. That was almost terrible. Okay. 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 Wow, there is an outside chance that we get domination in Asia by the end of this turn. If we, if he doesn't do anything about North Korea, and we successfully coup Indo-Pakistani. Wow! What kind of luck? What kind of luck? And we still wouldn't win, though. I mean... 
Nah, I think there's no chance for us to pull this out. With him taking the coup here, though, it, we do. I mean, unless he doesn't take the coup, but I think he probably will. Um, our chances are very slim. Extraordinarily slim here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a no-go. It's not going to work out for us. We did make the final scoring, though. <laughs> At the very least, it's good to remember that this is an RTSL match. So um, our hopes and dreams are an OTSL. Let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. If I take him into a show of six and I will have seven. Yeah, he could easily, easily stop that. So it's probably not even worth eventing into a Pakistani war. Uh, well, maybe for ops, maybe for mill ops. But I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's gonna work out. In the long run, And we have so few ops this time. It's just, it's just so depressing. He's going to get Africa Dom. He already has Europe, so I'm not sure what that's, I mean, sure, two more points, or a, po a possibility of two more points. One, well, I guess it's three when you take one away from me. Um, yeah, we need to make some empty threats here and there. Let's do... This... It takes three ops to fill Cuba, too. I mean, he might have, uh, like I said, he can't get rid of his low cards. I was just looking at that card, wondering, hmm, I wonder if he drew that. I guess he did. He can go into um, Cuba now with Ortega out. Uh, ugh. Okay. How about that? And that. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Who cares? It's not going to lead to anything. All right, uh, but we should event or uh, not Ortega OPEC, and summit. Four, no, five, six, seven. So OPEC, Indo Pakistani, and uh, Iran Iraq War. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was this game. <laughs> okay. 
What are you going to coup, man? Where are you going to coup me? All right. I guess I'll just fix that then. That's generous of you. Okay, sure, take my points, make us even for now, and then Indo-Pakistani for the final, uh, for the last hurrah, as they say. Oh, he must have some bad cards. Cooing there. Okay. Okay. Huh. Well, I need my mill ops, so I still got to do this, even though it's probably not going to work out for me. Nope. All right, well, kind of forgot I was on air there, having a enlightening conversation. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for joining. Again, on Thursday and Sunday, I will be playing a couple OTSL matches. Maybe RTSL as well. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll catch you again.